Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Pyramid OG, and we're picking up pretty much right where we left off in the last episode. Um, so yeah, we are in the process of exploring the Dune Desert, and we are right here at this location. So we're gonna go up on top of this plateau and uncover that area, and then uncover this area. This is all a pretty much just ocean out here, I believe. And once we've done that, um, other than you know a few little black spots here and there which i think are high clipped off areas or bluffs or whatever i think we've pretty much uncovered the whole map so um, this is all just open dune desert out here so i'm not necessarily going to go out there just to remove the black stuff off the map um and so yeah we're going to start then by actually going down um because there's a purple slug down there and also more enemies to kill well, maybe we'll go up first and then we'll, we'll go back down there later. So yeah, let's do it that way. We have an opening over here that did I not get that yellow slug in the last episode? I guess I didn't. Anyway, uh, we have an opening over here that we'll have to open up. And um, I am I'm getting low on turbo ammo. So I think what we'll do is uh, we still have 112 exploding rebar bolts. So let's use some of these for these bigger guys. And then we can either melee or use the tracking ammo for the little ones. Um, I did go through and turn all of the animal giblets into protein and made more shards. So now we have a total of 93 power shards from all of the slugs that we've gotten from this expedition. And that freed us up a few slots, not a whole lot. Okay. Let's see what the deal is with this over here. Okay, we have a blue slug and some uranium in here. And I guess that's it. Go up this way. There's a big, big bat over there and a purple slug. Let's try some cluster bombs on this guy. Oh shit! I didn't know that he could get up there. Oh 
Oh shit! <laughs> mean son of a bitch! Got him. He might be mean, but I'm meaner. Okay, let's get away from him. Looks like we have a hard drive over here. This is great. That's a, I think that's a SAM ore deposit there, but there's also a bunch of radiation up here too. Yeah, that's SAM ore. Take one of those. All right, we've gotten him out of the way, but we have another very dangerous big bat over here. Can we lure him over here and then use this cliff to steer clear of his ass? He's been lured. Ouch. Ow. Okay, let's, uh... Oh! God damn it. Come over it. Uh. That got him. Direct hit. Go check this drive out. We are going to take some radiation over here. Uh, definitely want the heat sinks. We have a heavy modular, a couple heavy modulars we could pick up. Um, eh, we don't need circuit boards. Got lots of those. Oh man, you need motors too. Damn it. These guys are a really good shot with their their bombs there. Gotcha. Okay, purple slug over here. Right next to some uranium. Okay, we need to mark, uh, we need to mark this drive. Right about there. 
and it like just like the other one needs 30 motors It's interesting that both of those need 30 motors. Okay, um, so that uncovers the top of this plateau. Let's go around this way and kind of get this part uncovered. But I, I want to go down into this canyon too because there's a, a purple slug down there. We're all about purple slugs. Go get this part uncovered first since we're up here. How many of these novelists? Oh, I only have nine left. Okay. Starting to get low on ammo. is thingy. Got a Mercer Sphere up there. Got some fart rocks over there. These guys guarding anything. There's a blue slug over there. Oh no, that's a purple. Alright. Uh there we go. Okay, I don't know if I don't know if it's possible for us to get up on top of there or not. Is that the same one we were on before? It might be actually. I don't remember. If it is, then there wasn't anything else up there. There's a blue slug on that one. Okay, so if there's a blue slug on that one, that suggests that there's a way to get up here. We are starting to get low on fuel. Uh, wait a minute, where the hell am I going? Oh, right here. There's a purple up there. Hmm. Okay, so... We have not been up there, then. Question is... Do we get up there from over here or from over here? We could try the same thing we did before where we just shimmied up the side and we eventually were able to walk up it at a much steeper angle than I would have expected us to be able to. So basically what we did was we started doing this and then we started walking. Nope, I'm not going to make it. Okay. I thought 
Oh no! I thought if we fell, we had we still had one thingy of life. Maybe I wasn't at full health. Oh no! <laughs> it sucks. Oh shit. Ah. Uh... I'm, uh, I have to go back and look in the video. I must not have had full health. Wow, that bites. Um, God damn it. Okay. Um, I guess what I'm going to do is... Why am I flying? I don't know. I have no room to take stuff back with me. So... Uh, but we have to take fuel. Um, so let's take a full thingy of biofuel. Liquid biofuel. Because I was getting low on that anyway. And maybe I'll just make a couple of exploding rebars and that's all we can take. Because I just I don't have room for anything else. Oh shit. What a bummer, man. Okay, so... <clears throat> What do I need for explosive rebar? Oh, here we go. We need normal rebar and pipe. Okay, so I'm going to make myself a, a stack of explosive rebar and then head back over there and I'll meet you guys when we get back to get our stuff. I must not have been at full health. I'll have to go back and look in the video to see because my understanding was if we fall, it doesn't kill us. It, we still have one bar of life unless we're not at full health. What a pain in the ass. All right, guys, we've made it back. Um, picked up a couple slugs and one hard drive along the way. So let's grab all of this. And we are still short a couple of things. So I'm going to get rid of the normal modular frames. And let's see. Do we have something else here that's just not that big of a deal? I suppose what I should do is consolidate my stuff again. So I think we'll do that. We'll turn all of our existing slugs into shards and turn all the bug stuff or the alien stuff into protein. Um, which I guess all we have right now is spitter, spitter parts anyway. Okay. Do I have enough stuff to make a sink? I do. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sink a few things here. Can we put stuff straight in here? I don't think we can. I think we have to have a, a container. Organization... Uh, oh, by the way, I did look back in the video, and I was not at full health, which, of course, is why I died when we fell. <clears throat> not one of my prouder moments, but it happens. And let's see, we're also going to need to make a biomass burner. How much power does this thing take? Mm, it doesn't say. Okay. Okay. Um, we're just going to put in, let's just put those in for now. Well, it's enough. Really? So this takes one-tenth of a megawatt to run? I find that hard to believe. But whatever. Okay, so let's see. We can sink 
Uh, let's sync all these computers. We'll sync those oscillators. Uh, man, I hate the sync radio control units because they're so damned expensive. Um, uh, we can definitely sync the circuit boards. But well, actually, no. We should carry those with us in case we need them for a hard drive. I hate syncing high-speed connectors. We can sync 13 heat sinks. Um, uh, let's sync... 15 pipe. We could sync this this tur turbo fuel. Let's do that. And I'll go ahead and sync 20 heavy modular frames just again to free up the space. And let's sync that concrete. We don't need that much concrete with this. AI limiters aren't too big of a deal to make, so let's sync those. And we'll sync this uh, these 11 bio uh, liquid biofuels because I have a full stack right there. I think everything else, though, we're going to keep with us. But that does free us up a fairly significant number of slots. Okay. So while that's going on, let's set a MAM down here and see what we got going on. Okay, alternate electromagnetic connection rod. That makes eight per minute. What's the default recipe do? The default does four per minute, and it takes stators and two AI limiters. This makes eight per minute, takes stators and one high-speed connector. Hmm. Um, all right, what does this do? That's rubber and limestone for 45 concrete. Oh, okay. Alternate high-speed connector. I don't think I have an alternate recipe for that. I don't. So the normal recipe requires quick wire, cable, and circuit board for 3.75 per minute. This requires... So this replaces cable with silica and requires two circuit boards. I don't think that's that great because the default recipe requires less quick wire it requires 10 cable which is a two state well it's a three stage whereas the silica is just a two stage but only one circuit board to make 375 per minute yeah I don't think that's that great of a recipe um, so the question is to make high-speed connectors we need three inputs versus just two AI limiters and three stators to make four. I mean, AI limiters are so much simpler to make than high-speed connectors are, even though this makes twice as many. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of any of these, to be honest with you. I really am not. Um... But, I mean, this one's not terrible just because of the fact that it does make twice as much. I don't really see any benefit at all to this one, though, compared to the to the normal one. So, all right. Well, let's take this, then. Just because it does make twice as much. That's my rationale for it. Okay. All right. You're all done doing your thing. Let's break all this down here. And, uh, yeah, so that gained us nine slots. Very good. Okay, we're not going to try and reclimb that thing. Screw that deal, man. Um, the other thing, too, which is stupid on my part, was I when you have the hover pack and you run out of juice... You can press the space bar and glide gently to the ground. And I am so used to wearing that damn thing that I just thought I could press space bar. And then I realized when it was too late that, oh, no, you can't because you're not wearing your hover pack. You're wearing your jet pack. So, yeah, there you go. Okay. Anyway, 
let's uh let's look at the map here. So we've basically uncovered everything over here. So we're going to head south and we're going to uncover this area here next. That is the plan. All right. So Harvest. Let's go. We said we did want to go down into that ravine to get a, another purple slug that's down there. But let's go up high first. And there is another hard drive over here that I saw. Actually, two hard drives. Three hard drives. Counting that one. On the way over here. So we'll go after those. Dirty rat. These guys have a huge aggro range. Got him. Yeah, we did. Okay. Let's grab this slug. Now cut that out. There's a purple slug way over there. I don't think I'm going to go down into that canyon to get that other purple. Let's just... We've got so many power shards right now. All right, let's check this out. What's up with all the motors? These things are asking for. And they're all, they all want 30 motors too. For Pete's sake. Thirty motors. So we're gonna have to bring ninety motors over here just for these three drives that we've marked. All right, is what it is. I wonder what that big bad so over there is guarding. Nice little pool up here. So, you know, again, like I was talking about in the last episode, which, by the way, I haven't seen any comments because I've recorded these back to back pretty much. There's, there's so many beautiful places here that it would be fun just to be able to build a, a little house at. Like this little lagoon here. Wouldn't this be a gorgeous place to live? Of course, we'd have to get rid of nasty plants, but I think that would be cool. Okay, so yeah, let's keep working our way this way. Nice big 
top of the world pond here. Relaying message. Hello, this is paternal figure. I have taken ill and need figure. your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Another B pod that we missed. Oh, it's underneath. Sneaky. All right. That's one of the little cassette tape thingies for the boombox, which I've never actually gotten. I'm kind of afraid to because of copyright. I don't know if the music on that's copyright free or not. Should, I should investigate that and see if I can find an answer to it. Where did those guys come from? Is there another one of these underneath? Probably. Jesus, they're all over the place. Gotta do is focus on getting the nests out of the way. That was some wonderful shooting there. Okay. We grabbed the cassette tape. Uh, where is it? I don't. Uh, I don't see it. Where did it go? Let's get rid of one cable. Is that something that goes into like an, a, an invisible inventory? Because I'm not, I don't see it in my inventory. But we definitely picked it up. Weird. Guess we missed one. Grab this other purple up here. Wow, look at the view from up here. My goodness. That is so cool. Let's get all the way to the pinnacle.
don't get too much higher up than this in this world. Uh, that little mountain plateau thing over there is higher up than this. We might have to see if we can get up there just, just to say we did, you know? I don't know what that thing is over on the top of that plateau. Okay, so, um... I think we got all the nasty plants off of there. Got some more slugs. Nope, I hear more. There's another yellow up there with more nasty plants. Got it. This thing is a death trap with all those bees. I mean, you know, I've said it before, you get enough of those things and they are dangerous. Okay, so I'm going to assume that that cassette tape thing that we picked up goes into some kind of hidden inventory, but it's available to us when we get the boombox. Okay, there's purple over there, but I'm not really too concerned about going way out of our way to get it. We will grab this yellow, though. Let's look at our map. Okay. Uh, that drive that I saw was way down below. But before we go down there, I'd like to go up and there's something way over there on top of that plateau. I'd like to see what that is. So, yeah, let's do it. Gorgeous area, though. Oh, that's just a sloop inside of a bunch of uranium. All right, well, let's drop down and get the yellow anyways. Let's go this way. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Got a purple slug down this way. See if we can grab it before he shoots us. There we go. Miss me, sucker. Okay, these fart rocks I think are just guarding a blue slug. Nice shooting, Tex. Let's get that one out of the way. Oh, there's a drive. All right, I'm 
gonna run out of fuel here. Hopefully that guy doesn't aggro us. Oh shit! <laughs> Served you right, you bastard. Oh, that was awesome. Okay. A freebie. Ah, oh, that was classic, man. Love it. Okay, we missing anything important over here with all these fart rocks? There's blue slugs, but... There's a yellow slug up there. Come on. Uh, I can't grab it. What the hell? It's like it's glitched under the terrain or something. Okay, I get it. I get a thing for it there, but I can't stand still long enough to get it. Whatever. Screw it. It's just a damn blue slug anyway. That's weird. I'm going to call that a texture glitch. Okay. We actually need to go that way to finish uncovering the map. Okay, so we got a big bat over there guarding a purple slug on the tree. There are some really dangerous creatures in this area. And you can't beat the re explosive rebar. It's best ammo in the game, in my opinion. The only thing I haven't tried are the nuclear bombs, but I've seen Kibbutz use them, and so I, they're pretty effective too. We'll, we'll make a couple of those, I think, before it's all said and done. Um, now, is that the one we marked? No, that's a new drive. Okay. Overshot. Got a double on that one, though. Dead or not? You are now. Okay, we've got computers and heavy modulars, but I'm not inclined to pick them up because we 
Well, we can pick up 17 computers. How many are here? 16. All right, we'll pick them up because it doesn't make another stack. We can't pick up more heavy modulars without taking up another slot, though. And we only have five slots left, so let's see what we need here. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> What's up with all these motors, man? Seriously. Wow. Okay. We're going to just have to come over here with our inventory loaded up with nothing but motors. Not really, but still. A lot. I mean, we have we have four drives now that all need 30 motors each. It's crazy. It's crazy, I tell you. Just a small little area, whoops, area over here. Purple slug over there with uranium and an irradiated bad bad. gonna need to go down there anyway to go get that other drive that I saw on the way back over here just want to make sure we've covered everything that we want to get uh, while we're still up here little pool here okay so he didn't aggro on us goes back down to the spire coast Okay, let's go this way. Let's see if we can get this guy to barrel off the side of the cliff. Here, come at me, bro. See you, sucker. There's a drive down there. Um, I don't think that's the one that I saw, though. All right, well, let's go down. Tell you what, let's use the rest of our turbo ammo, and that'll free us up a slot. Kind of neat the underneath side of those mushrooms there.
There, finally something besides motors. Not picking up the circuit boards. Unless we can do so without incurring another stack. Uh, no, we can't. We only have 191. Well, let's do this. Let's pick them up. And then we'll ditch the extras. Well, no point in doing that now. Okay, so let's see. Let me think about this. When I came back over here, I pretty much... This is where our bag was over here. So I kind of came across this way. And when I looked down, I saw a hard drive way down underneath the cliffs. And it wasn't this one because it was kind of more in a green area, as I recall. So let's kind of travel around down here and see what we might be able to, to see. That very well could have been what I saw. There are so many slugs in this world, man. It's crazy. Um, we are out of ammunition a freebie okay let's check the man Alternate uranium fuel unit. Alternate electrode circuit board. That's pretty damn cheap. Actually. Just rubber and petroleum coke. Okay. Don't really care about that. Uh, what's the default recipe on this? So, okay. So this is going to require encased uranium cells, electromagnetic control rods, Crystal oscillators and the beacons. This is, isn't this what we need for nuclear power plants? This does 0.6 per minute. What, wow, what a pain in the ass that thing's going to be to make. What's the default recipe? Default recipe is simpler, but only makes 0.4 per minute. Yeah, used as fuel for the nuclear power plant. Um, all right. So, even though this makes 0.4 per minute, it seems like it's a much easier recipe. Yeah, I mean, this, this thing takes four inputs to make. This thing takes three inputs to make. It looks like we're making the same amount of control rods and uranium cells for only 0.2 more per minute. I don't think so. Um, but this one's not too bad. I think we're going to take this one just because it's cheap and easy. Let's do it. Cheap and easy, just like me. <laughs> All right, so... This is kind of neat down in here. I think we're probably just in a little bit of a transitional zone between the Spire Coast and the Dune Desert. The coral in the water there is neat looking. Barnacles. A 
There's something up there. I don't know what it is. Can't really tell. Alright, let's go this way. We have a little bit more fog of war to uncover. How did I get normal rifle ammo in here? Where, uh, where is it even at? I don't see it. Hmm. I don't know. All right. Grab that. Nope. These guys are going to be a pain in our ass. Let's get rid of the nest. It's not letting me grab it. Oh, damn it. Damn it, Jim. Can we stand on this? Yes. Wow, that is a pain in the ass place to get to. I think we're going to have to ramp, uh, do a ramp, which actually isn't a big deal. There we go. Okay. Let's go this way. an archer what is it nope just a couple bats guarding the a purple harvest it, harvest it. Let's get this purple. It's just a little bit of an area out here. There's a purple up there, but we'd have three bug plants we'd have to contend with.
Um, let's move over here momentarily just because there's a, possibly just a little bit more of an area that could have something interesting that we haven't uncovered. get to that unless we ramp up to it or something unless we can grab it from up here maybe uh, right there in a bit of a precarious place. Yeah, maybe not. Oh! Got him. And those two little fuckers. I hear more though. Where are you? I think there's another nest down underneath here. Yeah, right there. Got it. Oh, shit! The hell was that? I think that was a spider. It was. You dirty little rat. Let's go this way. We're certainly going to come home with a gob of power shards. Or slugs to make power shards. Uh, he's guarded by fart plants. Stones, I mean. And research is done. drive out here but we may have we may have gotten this drive before I don't know if we did or not where are you going brah
We have not, and it's a freebie. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, there's that same scrap one. Alternate pure caterium. Okay, so 12 ingots per minute for only two ore and water, which doesn't matter. That's, that's, I think that's pretty good, actually. I mean, normal caterium, well, only requires three ore for 15. Eh, okay. We've already looked at this one a couple times and I've rejected it both times. Um, this one's not that great, to be honest with you. Because for just one more ore and just a smelter, we can make 15 per minute. This requires a refiner and the water hookup, which again is not a big deal, but it's an okay recipe, I suppose. But, yeah, nah, I, I, I think I'm going to re-roll this time. Let's do it. <laughs> if I had a dime, right? Jesus. All right, get rid of that thing. Let's look at the map. Okay, let's keep, let's keep going this way, because there's a few little spots we still haven't uncovered. Coral is really cool looking over here. This coral wasn't in the game in update five. I don't at least I don't remember it being here because I did I spent a little tiny bit of time in this biome in update five. And I don't remember all this gorgeous coral. Okay. That one was pretty much free for the taken. Let's go up high here. Purple slug, but probably going to be guarded too. Yeah, it's guarded by a spitter. anything else interesting along this little ledge here. I have some uranium up here. And a purple slug and a spitter. Okay, so 
still just a couple of spots over this way. That big arch is kind of cool looking. Wasn't a good. Those things are tough. I'm sure we softened it up quite a bit, though. We'll send him over the cliff. That works, too. Oh, there's another one over there. Stop it. Shit. Those things will take your health down big time if you're not careful. Uh, what? Oh, that's the top of the space elevator. I'm going, what the hell is that thing over there? Hey, hard drive. Beautiful. It's time for the game to save. AI limiters. It's all stuff we sent to the sink earlier. Another one needing 30 motors. Jeez. Okay. I think I'll pick up these heavies just because we're getting close to wrapping it up here. Ah, what the hell, we'll pick up the limiters too. So I think that the... this dark area anyway is way up on top of there. We could try to get up there. Here, let's get this one marked. We quite literally might have to load up on nothing but motors and go back around the map to pick all this shit up. Okay, that big plateau could be discovered. Keep getting blocked by something. There we go. There's nothing good up here except for just bees. Fuck them guys. Can we make it over here? Yeah, we're good. Ooh. Let's see if we can get him to go over the edge. No, you weren't supposed to stop, asshole. Come at me. Woohoo!
Okay, come at me. Wow, he's he's smart. There, there he goes. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. That's awesome. All right. So do we want to go back and see if we can get up onto there? Um. All right, let's make sure we're at full health here. If we're going to do that, we're going to need to hit that plateau too, which has three bee bugs on it. And then get over there. I, let's do it because there could be another hard drive up there. And then I want to try and get up there just because it's probably quite possibly the highest place on this entire map. And so, yeah, we've got to do it. Oh, God, I don't know if I'm going to make that. I don't think I had a the full. There we go. Let's go down here. This guy probably won't be able to blow him off the edge because they shoot at you instead of charger. Getting back up there is going to be fun. We hmm, we might have to ramp to get up there now. Well, maybe not. Yeah, we got some ledges here. Okay, so now I guess the next move is to get to that shelf there. Okay. Well, unless we can actually... Yeah, we should be able to make it all the way up here. And there is a hard... Uh, wait, is that a hard drive? I don't know. Maybe not. Let's see. There's a big chunk of uranium, a bad bad, and a purple slug. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to do with this game. <laughs> Alright, we've got plenty of radiation filters.
All right. What's uh what's that? It's probably that area over there maybe. No, over there. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm going to worry about that. I I want to get up there, okay? Because I do. Why? Because I do. A little first coal set up. There's our quartz set up way over that way. Okay. We'll get recharged here. Hey, didn't we just chase you off the edge, man? How the hell did you get back up here so quick? Here, come at me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay, come on. He stops right at the edge. Come on. Come at me, bro. It's like he doesn't want to come past that ledge there. All right, eat one of these. Hmm. Will he come over here? Oh, shit. Yeah, he will. All right, you know what? Fuck this guy. Let's go. You just know there's got to be a hard drive on top of there, right? Or something cool. All right, so... Um, I think we can get to that ledge there. We didn't get a good launch. Okay. But from here, we might need to, we might need to ramp up from here. Let's go along this ledge and just see if there's a way up. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if we can make it up there without ramping. Go this way. Yep, we're, we're kind of finding a path up. Make sure we're at full health and load up this ammo again. 
We have 83 rounds left. That's a drive there. Tis indeed. That is still way the hell up there. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. So what do we got? We got a big hog. Is that a big hog or a little hog? That might just be a little guy. But we have some some bee plants too. No, that's a big guy. All right, can we get him to go flying off the edge? Just because, well, uh, either that or get him so he can't get at us. He's back. Alright, dude, I need you to go barreling off the edge. Okay, come at me. Will he come down here? Love the view. Where'd he go? We haven't actually have enough motors for this one. Okay. Not seeing any high value of material here. Okay, so I guess the next step is to get up to there. So there's just a little bit of a walkway to get up there. That's cool. Or at least up to here anyway. And then this way. Parkour like crazy. We made it. There's a purple slug way up there. So I know at least that much. Whoop. Keep on keeping on till we get there. have a jetpack, huh? Wow, we're high up. <laughs> we're already probably higher up than we've ever been in this game. 
unless uh well that's pretty high too I, isn't that where we just were no i think we were on that one so i don't know if we've been on that one away over there but you know from this vantage point it looks like that's not any higher than we currently are Watch there be like a big hog up here. And as soon as we get to the top, he knocks us off. We're so <laughs> Jesus, we're so high. Okay. I think we made it, guys. I think we are at the highest point on this entire map. And look what's up here. A uranium deposit. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. It is, it's impure, but hey. Talk about putting that thing in one of the most difficult places you could possibly get to on the map. That's nuts. But we are so high up that the ground is clouded. We can't even hardly see the ground. All right. I think this is a good screenshot because, you know, highest place on the map, right? Not really much point in taking a screenshot over there because it's all just foggy. Yeah, we'll take one more. There's our... There's our uh, nitrogen fracking factory way over that way. You can see the green roof of it. Wow, you can really zoom in far on this thing. My goodness. Holy crap. Wow. That's our, our coal setup. Somewhere down there we have a lizard doggo friend. Oh, I haven't... Uh, seen in months <laughs> okay well guys i'm gonna say i mean you know again there's a there's a couple of little pockets here and there over here you know and that sort of thing but i think we have by and large explored this entire world and that's the first time i've ever done that in this game so that alone is kind of a nice little personal achievement um and so yeah very fun and we know that there's a big uranium deposit way up here. I do know that where these two quartz nodes are, there's a big cave down there, which we have not been into. So we might go explore that at some point too. But yeah. We should get some kind of achievement for uncovering 95% 90, of the map, which is probably what we've done more or less. That's where that hard drive was down there. Yeah, but this is awesome. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here, and I'm going to work my way back home, put all this stuff away. And um, my plan, my next plan is to, I want to try nuclear power. Um, even, even if we just build one power plant, I mean, one power plant alone. Hey, look, we can see the top of our. We can stop, see the top of our Tower of Power way the hell over there. That's neat. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I want to just try it to see what it's all about, even if it's just one plant. And then after that, we'll just we'll kind of see where we are. Um, today is August the 24th. One oh comes out on September the 10th, so we have 16... Uh, is there 30 days? Yeah, there's 30 days in September. So we have basically 16 days left. Um, so the next, like I said, the next thing to do will of course be, uh, to build a nuclear power plant and then we'll see where we're at with our time after that. And then that will kind of dictate what our final actions will be on this world before we start over. So with that being said, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, 
Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode.